Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to get this DIY deep conditioner and this is my favorite, by the way. First, you're gonna need some water, some oil of your choice. I'm using grapeseed oil, honey, an avocado, and a banana. For tools, you're going to need a blender, two bowls, two is optional, you really might need one, and a strainer is also optional. Bananas are rich in natural oils and potassium, and this will help to enhance your hair's elasticity, allowing for um, less breakage, and they also help to make your hair more manageable and smooth. Avocados are rich in proteins and amino acids. These will help to promote stronger hair and longer hair, and they will also soothe your scalp. As you can see here, I use a very ripe avocado, which just makes it easier to mash up, so I would recommend that, and I also recommend to use a more ripe banana than I did. Now I'm just going to mash these up with a fork. Now I'm just going to add in the water, the grapeseed oil, and the honey. I chose grapeseed oil because grapeseed oil um, moisturizes my hair but doesn't make it greasy and also has a lot of vitamin E in it. And honey is a really, really great humectant and it helps to bring moisture in from the air into your hair. Now I'm just blending this all up to make sure that there are no chunks left in my hair. Alright, and this is your finished product. If yours didn't come out this smooth, you can strain it to get rid of any lumps. But as you can see here, mine was pretty smooth so I didn't have to. So now let's get on to the tutorial. So right here, all my hair has in it is a little bit of leave-in conditioner and a little grapeseed oil. I washed my hair like two days ago, but I didn't have time to deep condition because I had to go out right away. So yeah, for hair, I'm just kind of loosening up my hair a little bit from those two buns I had it in. And I'm going to need water, clips, a comb, and a scrunchie. So when I do my hair, I like to separate it into, I guess, medium-sized sections. And after my hair is separated, I like to just spray it with a little bit of water and roughly finger detangle it. And when I say rough, I don't mean like rough, I just mean not precise, like I'm not going to try to get out every single tangle. After my hair has been finger detangled, I'm just going to go ahead and start applying the deep conditioner. Once I have the conditioner all throughout my hair, I'm going to go ahead and start combing it. And this is rare for me, like I don't comb my hair at all that much. I probably comb my hair once every other month. Like I really don't comb my hair. So if I do comb it, I make sure that I have deep conditioner in it to make the process go a lot smoother. And then once I comb it out, I put a little bit of extra on my ends. And then I just twist up the section to keep it out of the way. Alright, so one more time. I'm just going to spray my hair with some water. Finger detangle it. Apply some deep conditioner from roots to tip. Don't forget your edges when you're putting on deep conditioner. I see people forget their edges a lot and I, I don't get it. Then I'm just going to comb out the section and then twist it up. Alright, this is one half of my head done and I'm just going to speed up the other half.
Alright, so once I get done putting the deep conditioner all through my hair, I'm just going to take a plastic cap and put that on my head. Also, I just want to apologize for any noise that you may hear in the background. If you hear any snoring, that is my dog. Then, just to make sure that that doesn't come off, I'm just going to put a bonnet on top. And I'm probably, yeah, I went to sleep with this in my hair. You can really leave it on for like 15-30 minutes, but I just went to sleep in it because I was being lazy. Alright, and these are the finished results. This is my hair. Obviously, you can't feel it, but it is very, very soft. And as you can see, my hair is also very shiny. So thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss any videos from me. And I'll see you on my next one.